Thank you so much, everybody, for being here tonight. When I think about what the emotional heart of, of Harper's Bazaar is, it's, it's everybody here. I think that when a magazine is great, it feels like a conversation between friends. It means the world to me for you to all be here. It really, really does. Diane, you're the woman that I want to be. You really are. You're the woman that I think every woman in the room wants to be. You've inspired not just myself, but millions and millions of women. And I feel honored and humbled to be here tonight to present you with this award. Well, but you are the woman you are, want you to be. And so many women in this room are the women they want to be. Be a woman of the year is unbelievably humbling so I'm super grateful I'm uh, totally surprised and really really flattered thank you so much what an incredible honor actually to be here tonight Mrs. B has been one of my huge inspirations since I started and it's just a very magical night I mean it's wonderful what she's done in 10 years is amazing Um, this is amazing. It's been a really lovely year for me. I put a second album out, I got married. There's a real sisterhood with um, female musicians, so that's been really, really important to me and really helped me along. Husband, this one's for you, so yeah, cheers. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to present an award to someone you actually really like and really, like, am a, fan, a big fan of. I'm really lucky tonight because I'm having to give this award to someone who not only has changed the art world completely for everybody, but they've changed the art world for women. I'm, I'm sort of speechless, really. Um, I'm very, I feel very humble and to be in such an incredible lineup of all those wonderful women. There are so many actresses out there, and not just actresses, but women for, from all walks of life that haven't yet been recognised for their achievements. But I think tonight, and nights like tonight, Celebrating women only encourages that notion and the women in this room inspire that notion. So thank you. She's you. just I, I don't know, I relate to her and as a girl who just like isn't afraid to eat a burger and just I just really love right that on. about her. Right and on. I just and she's just got an amazing presence and personality and I just think that comes through. <laughs> it's truly an honour to be surrounded this evening by such inspirational women in this room. So I'd like to dedicate this award to all the great women I have met and to have touched my heart throughout my life and to have helped me on my way. I wouldn't be here without you. Like, she's my muse, she's my friend, she's everything. And so it's obviously an honor for me to be here, but more of that, like, just being with her and supporting her in this award. There's no such gold and no such pearl as a bright and beautiful English girl. It gives me enormous pleasure to once again look up to Gwendolyn. But if someone like me, playing Brienne of Tarth, a character who we love because of the choices she makes rather than how she looks, then things are changing and I am happy and I am proud. I'm really overwhelmed, uh, not just because it was presented to me by the brilliant Charles Dahls. I'm really so bad at this. I apologise already. I feel I should have a sorry t-shirt. Um, I want to thank, thank my amazing team of women and also my amazing team of men. Sarah is a beacon of hope for everyone. You know, she hasn't sacrificed niceness for success. Me and my agent have been crying the whole way through this tour and I've just been in tears because all these people are just so brilliant, so inspiring. Um, and Thank you, first of all, it means an awful lot. Thank you. I've had such a lovely evening. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a big glass of wine now because I haven't had a drink tonight because I've been too nervous.